Okay guys, Mike Martin's back again, we're on this same website and this time I'm just going to show you a little tool that's in there, it's probably going to be a very short video showing you a little tool that's useful if you've got say specific pages on the site and you just want to throw up a quick banner for that page or you just want to throw up a phone number on that specific page and nowhere else um, or you get a client that says I want my number on these 10 pages, you can use something like this. So all it is is on the right hand side bar there's one that says new, uh, build new short code. If you click on that, this little box will pop open. Now inside that box, you can see at the top, you select your region. Now on here, we're building a California site, but if we were gonna go via regions, we'd be able to click, type in California here and make any data that we input um, cover the whole of California. So if you were doing California in say Florida, for example, you could have, if it's in California, show in Cali, and then you could have otherwise show this, or if it's in Florida, this is a single state site, so I'm going to show you the smaller locations, but it's the same thing here. So that's your regions, then you've got the little one here that's locations, and then whatever data you want to show goes in this third box down. So for example, we've been doing a lot on Sacramento at the minute, so let's, right, let's grab Sacramento and say, okay, if we're in Sacramento, show this client's phone number. And maybe special locals something, something silly like that right then if we're in so if we were in for example you can have as many of these as you want you just keep adding them and adding them and adding them with that and if and if and then this bottom one is like a catch-all so if you want something that shows on every page you can do that and the short code will pull it into every single page, which you'll understand a little bit more in a minute. But if you want to leave every page blank, unless they've been sold to a client or unless you want the content there, then you don't do that. So what we'd do is if we'd left that blank and we said, okay, let's say we wanted something to show in, Bur in Burbank, Burbank, Los Angeles. So we've got Burbank, Los Angeles. We want to show, if we show at the top right, we want to show all the eights. Okay, um, and then we don't want anything to show anywhere else. So what you do is you click out of the box and down here you copy this little thing and say when you have been doing. Okay, and that builds you a short code. Now this is just like a temp short code. You can throw it into any page you want anywhere. So say we went up to the top here and said, okay, paste that code in there and click update. We now go back and in Sacramento, we should see all the nines. There we go. Get a quote, 99999 special offer locals. That's because it's Sacramento. If I now go into here and type in Burbank, Los Angeles, you should see, there you go, all the eights, Burbank, Los Angeles, where we've put that short code in. Alternatively, if I go anywhere else, it's gonna be blank. There you go, you can't see anything just literally the same stuff that was previously there. So it's a great way that if a client says, you know what, we've got a special offer on in such and such an area, we've got this in that area, or if you wanna build a website with no contact details whatsoever, and then when you sell the stuff, you can literally stick them in that way. Um, if you wanna do it a bit more complicated though, that's the next video, X Fields is gonna show you how to do this in a much more complicated way. So jump over to the next video, and I will show you how to do that in there. Thank you very much, bye-bye.